So I've got something a little different today, different to the steam trains, different to the machines and whatnot. This wagon here needs a complete back end rebuilding because they bought some new ramps that need fitting. I'm on site, it's, I'm using their gear, a bit different. And then uh, we'll try and show you bits along the way of what I've done and where I'm at. Right, so these are ramps, quite substantial. Double folding, you can just see the, the joint there, the double fold. And then we've got to mount this plate onto the back of the wagon. Some pretty hefty springing and whatnot. So something a little different. This is what I used to kind of, oh, what's that? This is the kind of thing I used to do uh, before I uh, went into model making and stuff. The lads at work here have already taken up boards off this section for me. Uh, and it looks like we're gonna have to cut, cut that piece out all the way across, get the grinder on it, cut it off, and then uh, take that wing off there, that, that little bit down there, pretty much rebuild it and rebuild it quite substantial because it's gonna have to take some weight so let's uh, crack on So, I've got it all cut off. It's, uh, I think all the rubbish stuff's now done. Um, it took a bit of notching and grinding on that middle section, but thank thankfully, I found the uh, gas bottles. So that made the job a lot easier to chop out the worst of it and then trim it back. Um, the steel beam that you can see across there that's going to be the new rear support. Uh, we've got some plates on that we're going to notch that beam. That beam there. Uh, we're going to notch it out, strengthen it and stuff. So, But I had to join it. They didn't have anything long enough on their racks here, so I had to join a piece. So putting some gussets inside, make it a bit more rigid. But yeah, day one done. Back tomorrow.
So day two on the wagon, and uh, as you saw, it's taken a lot more cutting and a lot of notching to get that, uh, that beam in. Uh, I've had to notch it, I've had to notch it out down here. Hopefully you can see that. Notch it out and then back down. I've got a plate to put on the inside. Uh, so well done for the beam. And then I've got the sections down here to make now. And get those on for the big plate on the um, ramps. So we're getting there. It's slowly taking shape. Uh, I've got it tacked to the plate that bolt to the main chassis rails. Um, we're getting that, that. I thought I went with plates because I thought it'll load the back end it back together again, uh, even though it's all going to be pretty much welded together. So day three is going quite badly. Uh, I'm having to cut everything out by hand, which is quite a drag. You can see I've got it all assembled now. Uh, I've got to do some straightening on this side and then we'll be right. But whew, all day yesterday just to make that piece, but there's lots of little bits inside it. I'll, I'll give a quick video over the top of it. This section is getting welded after it's attached. Progress update on day three, I think it is. It seems to be uh, all going into a bit of a blur for me. Uh, and getting used to actually where I'm supposed to look on the camera phone is a bit of a pain. Sorry if you can hear the dogs next door. They're, they've got like a boarding kennels or something and uh, the dogs aren't very happy. But hey ho, so progress update. The beam is now ready for the ramps to go on either side. Uh, I've got a little bit of work to do on the ends. Right, so we run through what we've done so far. We put this strip on here now, and that's for the top sheets that go on here to slide down. And obviously when they drive up the ramps, sloping and there's no chance of it dipping either side of there um, it's all welded up just got a couple of welds there to, to dress off before the plates go on started the top of there got some pieces to go in here yet to tidy that up but yeah it's uh, it's coming on nicely
therefore and we have had big success we have now got the ramps on the wagon so massive step forward um, didn't have to take some work and didn't have to take some uh, help from the lads here that work here but yes they are on and they look blooming smart so i've now got a bit of finishing off to do i get rid of the camera there a uh, bit of finishing off to do and uh we're on the home straight. So I've got these gusset plates on now, all welded up. All looks a bit neater on this corner now, on both corners. Everything across here is now welded, they're fully welded. The plates are welded, the stitch welded across the top, fully welded down the sides, down both sides, and then there's as much welding as I can underneath. It should take the weight of what they're driving up these ramps. But the both on, so all the fabrication is pretty much done on the back end now. Um, I put these infill pieces in here that you can see. That's so when they put those, see these sheets up here at the top, these come down here. So when they screw them back on, they've got something to screw on because they went underneath. Uh, originally and then folded down so they couldn't get them out without taking all the side off and it's all welded right there um, so I've put them in so they've got something to screw to I've done it same on the other side down there over there so now I've just got to make some bits to go down the side there to hold these ramps vertical so they don't fall backwards love to do a proper finishing off to this video but I don't know if you can hear outside here but the dogs at the doggy daycare thing are going absolutely mental I think it's because they're being picked up um, it's Friday so they're uh, being picked up and I think they're all going a bit berserk uh, wanting the parents to come and pick them up uh, I don't know but it's driving me potty so I've come outside where it's a bit quieter because they're in the building attached uh, hopefully you've seen the type of thing that I used to do in the past. It's a pretty big job. Uh, they didn't have any cranes, I had to use forklifts and all sorts of stuff. So uh, if you've got any questions, stick it in the comments down below and I'll uh, try and answer it to the best of my ability. And if you haven't already, please do click the subscribe button uh, and the notification bell and you'll be notified when we next release a video, which hopefully will be more steam related than uh, stuff like this. Um, and if this video is of interest, uh, check out this one here because uh, you might enjoy that one too stay safe laters